Hey, hey. Happy Monday. What's up? It's Mark and Heather. And we hope. Dude, that was. So it's Where's the energy? Mark, it, Where's it's, the. Okay, it's, it's Mark it's, and Heather. What's up? All right. It's Heather and Mark. Whatever, dude. What's going on, guys? Happy Monday. <laughs> oh, there goes your, your screen there. So uh, thanks for hopping on. If you're hopping on, say hello. We like to say hello back. So um, what did we even mention? What did we uh, title the video? I don't even remember. So we'll just roll with it. Um, so we've got a lot of things going on. And uh, one of the things that we started talking about was um, we all know the secrets to success, right? Or if we don't, we can just Google it. Google, <laughs> it's a pretty cool thing is we can Google anything um, and find the success secrets. But, 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 and this is a big but, uh, it's hard to do those success things, right? It takes uh, self-discipline. It takes consistency. It takes taking action. It takes finding motivation. All those things that are hard to find, right? Or hard to do. So um, for, for us, so for me, what's up, Amanda? So for me, one of those things that we try to work on is taking action before we feel like it. Like we'll never feel like it. So for, for instance, let me just keep it super simple because um, with our workouts. So our program that we're doing right now is 80 days. So the thought of 80 days of doing something is like, Crazy. 80 it, days for, it, it for just, it just people seems is like a lot. Forever. It just seemed like, oh my God, 80 days. That, that it's just a long seems, time. Yeah. Like. So um, we have to break these things down. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of getting off track here a little bit, but in order to get through the 80 days, we've got to take those baby steps. And that's one of those little secrets that if you Google it, the, the baby steps are what actually will, will help you reach your goal. So um, we take it one day at a time. So instead of thinking about the whole 80 days, like, holy crap, we got 80 freaking days of this. We take it one day at a time. Um, I have my notes over there. Yeah. But I, I, well, I think it's like, I know today that I didn't feel like doing the workout. I know you didn't feel like doing the workout. Like just the thought of it, it's like, oh, I really don't want to do this. So we were talking about like, you have to take action before you feel like it. Right. So yeah. even though we didn't feel like it, I think a lot of people say, well, you'll, you'll find motivation, but it's actually the opposite. Yep. It's when you take action is when you find the motivation. the motivation. Right. So like I can honestly tell you, and I mean this 100%. So, uh, when it comes to our workouts, I'm not like fired up every single day to do the program <laughs> or do the workouts. I would say nine out of 10 times. Or nine out of ten workouts, I literally am like, this sucks. I I, I really don't want to do it. But but here's here's what I tell myself, and you gotta think of the consequences if you don't do it. And for me, that means if I don't follow through with that one day, remember we take one day at a time, that could be less energy. I could I might not be happy with the way my body looks. Uh, I may not feel good. I may get lazy. Now, if you reverse that and think about how you're going to be feeling if you do it. So even though you don't feel like doing it, but if you do it, the consequences are I can wear my tank tops. I, I, I'm not embarrassed. Uh, I'm going to lose the weight. I'm going to have more energy. I'm going to feel better. So what do I, so I have to think like, what do I want? Do I want that, that the junkiness or do I want to push myself for that one day and actually feel better? So again, remember, and I know I keep repeating, but it's the, the little baby steps, the one day at a time that actually ultimately get us to where we want to be. We're 20, I think 20 days into this. And I remember on day one going, holy shit, we've got 80 days. How the fuck are we going to do this? <laughs> and like, we had that discussion. Like I just didn't like, how are we going to honestly do this? But it's the one day, one day, one day. And here we are 21 days later. Mm -hmm. 20, that makes it 21 yeah. days. Yes, right? yes, yes. And that's ultimately what's getting us to our goal. So it's those little success secrets that we all can Google and all know about. But whether we actually do those little Yeah, things. I think one of the things that you had said that, that is really so true is that 
we don't feel like doing it, we, but we take action anyway. And so even though we don't want to do our workout and... And this could be for anything, not be, just our workout. Yeah, right, we just relate it because that's kind of how well, we were feeling today. Um, but we do it anyway. And then after we do it, we feel great. Like yeah, we've darn got, it, I feel yeah, better. Yeah, like we've got energy, we're yep. fired up, we feel more, like just more accomplished, we can take on more, like we're ready, we can tackle the day, like... Yeah, bring it at me, life. Like, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So we feel better. So even though we didn't want to do it, we didn't want to take action, we didn't want to do it, we did it anyway, and we felt better once it was done. Exactly. And I would say for us also, one little thing that we do is um, hold ourselves accountable to other people. So mm -hmm. it's not just ourselves or, you know, holding myself accountable to Heather. Like, we hold ourselves accountable to other people. So there, therefore, so unfortunately, uh, a lot of families or a lot of spouses even, or a lot of people don't necessarily support the other person. Uh, so when we can hold ourselves accountable, the people that actually want us to succeed or want to see us move better or move forward, I'm sorry, and do better, it helps us stay consistent longer. So I know for me personally, showing up in, in the group, uh, it keeps me going. It keeps me more motivated. It, it makes me accountable to somebody else and not just myself. So, yes. Um, I, well, I think we titled it, uh, holding ourselves accountable, um, whatever in our weak points. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. so for me, there is no way that I would get through this, this 80 days without having, um, an accountability partner, right? right. Someone to hold myself accountable to. And just knowing that I've got to jump into the group every day and show up, um, it helps keep my, it holds my feet to the fire. Right. Right. So, and it's, um, without it, I think I would be a hot mess. I would have fallen off track and not been able to stick with it. So here we are going into right. day 21, showing up every day. And I think you need, I know I do. Mm -hmm. I need that accountability in my life. Right. So, cause obviously when things are easy in life and we're, maybe our strong suit, let's say we are a blogger. So if our strong suit's writing and um, connecting with people in that way, maybe our weaknesses were not as consistent. So if you have somebody that, an accountability partner that can hold you to consistency. So if you're a heck of a writer, but you only write one, one day a week or one day a month, you can't reach as many people. But if you have that that accountability partner and you and you can write the best blogs in the world, but if you're consistent, and you write every single day. Think about how many more people you can connect with and impact through your blog. So, um, anyways, we've got to run. We've got to jump on some video chats. We're really excited. We just wanted to share that that stuff <laughs> with you, and we hope you guys have an awesome Monday. Yes. Take care. See you guys. Bye. Bye.